What's going on, everybody? Chip Hardbody here. As you can see, got a new visor. Um, the old one, as uh, was well documented, I think. I believe it was well documented. I apparently, I didn't know that the anti-fog wipes that I was using were uh, uh, contained alcohol in them, or ethanol. I did not realize this. I, just, I didn't look at the packaging, I didn't pay attention, blah blah blah. The There's no fucking manual that comes with your visor that says don't use uh, uh, ethanol on this. Or whatever. So, I'm a little pissed because I use these anti-fog wipes on the inside of my visor and any scorpion helmet, if you've owned one, you know that it comes with this ever clear fog resistant coating on the inside of it and it's designed to never fog. Well, mine was fogging as again, I'm sure is well documented in my vlogs. I've mentioned it a few times while riding and uh, at one point it got so hazardous that it was literally a danger to me to ride in and I was very annoyed by this so I tried using these anti-fog wipes on the inside and it didn't fucking work at all and um, when I tried to use these anti-fog wipes I completely obliterated any remainder of the original anti-fog coating that was on the inside <laughs> <laughs> my wife is using the dog to wave at me that's adorable so so I uh, I had to get a new visor and I wanted something that looked badass but that was also gonna function really well because uh, I've been trying to use sunglasses underneath my visor and my helmet fits so snugly that anytime I would use sunglasses underneath my visor inside my helmet it was causing my head to hurt because it was just putting so much pressure on the side of my head even no matter how thin the glasses were it was still leaving a mark on the side of my head like an indentation and causing me pain so fuck that couldn't do that anymore so i decided to opt for a a darker visor so while i was looking through these visors i saw the silver mirrored visor and first of all, the price is fucking outrageous. I'm gonna go ahead and call Scorpion out on their uh, on their outrageous visor prices. A replacement visor for a Scorpion helmet, just for a regular clear visor or smoke or dark smoke, is $35.95. That's insane. That is way too much for a piece of fucking plastic. I don't care how fancy the plastic is, it's too much for a piece of plastic. Just saying when the, the helmet itself only costs about 120. So that was also irritating, but we get over it, we move on, whatever. And I'm sorry that I'm vlogging in traffic, but it's what I have to deal with right now. So suck it up. So the shield is light smoke, silver mirrored, and I think it looks awesome. I I know that According to all the reports that I read, they're, they're a little bit easier to, uh, to scratch up, but I plan on taking as good a care of it as I can. And I figure if the outside coating, if the, if the mirror exterior gets too scuffed up, then I can just remove it on my own, like manually remove it, strip it off, and then I still have a, uh, a light smoke shield underneath. So it's kind of the best of both worlds in that regard. And that's that's how I'm looking at it. So yeah, that's that's what the new visor is all about. Okay, a little bit colder than I thought it was gonna be. That seems to happen to me a lot. I think it's gonna be nice and warm and I get on my bike and I start moving and it's totally not warm at all. Uh, that's all right, I'm wearing my six foot four Honda. Uh, if you can read this, please back the fuck up shirt or hoodie which I'm so excited about that I, I won in a uh, Facebook contest he was doing. I was so happy about that. He hooked me up. It's fucking awesome. Very excited about it. Uh, so far, it's a really comfortable hoodie. 
Uh, it's a little short in sleeves because I got an extra large instead of a, a 2X, but I'm trying to lose me some weight and I felt like a 2X is gonna just look like I'm fucking drowning in it. So I'll take the shortened sleeves, especially when it gets warmer, I, I pull up my sleeves anyway on hoodies. So I figure if it's cold enough to where I, I can't keep my sleeves rolled up on a, on a hoodie, then it's too cold for me to be just wearing a hoodie. You know what I mean? Freak my wife out by riding with no hands. We're actually headed over to the dog park right now. Let the little munchkins run around for a little bit. Get them some exercise. They've been cooped up inside the house too fucking long since it's been so fucking cold. And I'm fucking tired of it, man. I am so tired of the cold. And we're supposed to get snow tomorrow. We're supposed to get one to four inches. It is 40, 42 degrees outside right now. And we're supposed to get four, one to four inches of snow tomorrow. I am not happy about that. Not in the slightest. I am so tired of snow. It can go fuck itself. So I'm not too far away from 200 subscribers. I'm only about 50, 50 subscribers away now. And I'm getting really excited about it. Um, I am really looking forward to that happening. And I think that it'll happen within the next few months. And when that happens, I've got to figure out what I want to do for you guys as a thank you. I've, I've been considering, you know, stickers and t-shirts and all that good stuff. But the problem with, uh, with t-shirts especially is that you guys end up having to pay for them. Which in my opinion is a little silly. That you guys would have to pay for something that's supposed to be a, a thank you. So, I don't think I'm going to do that, but i got to figure something out. I'll let you guys know. But for now, this is Chip Hard Body saying I hope you're having a real nice fucking day. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.